the hope that drives us every day when we wake up is this idea that healing trauma can break generational cycles of poverty. Today we had leaders from each of the local systems get in one room. We so rarely get a chance to work together and so trauma is showing up in all of these systems across our community. Uh, ACEs, adverse child experiences, is showing up with kids when they come to school uh, with high stress and behavior issues. It's showing up in our emergency room of our hospital with people with chest pains and gastrointestinal issues. Um, it's showing up in our streets with gang activity and really it's it's unaddressed trauma um, and the importance of today is getting everyone to the same table and trying to identify where are the places of leverage so with a root cause that is so far reaching um, where are the places that we should be strategically focused together on and where are the places where, of leverage where our limited input here would have an outsized impact um, and that information isn't going to come from one of us or isn't going to come from a PhD it's going to come from the community leaders and community members who are in the room today. Um, and so we were being walked through a process called systems thinking. Uh, Karen Grattan of Engaging Inquiry is here with us. She runs a Washington DC based consultancy that does work uh, across the world. I call this like a roll up our sleeves session. So I want you all to be like super, like put it out there on the table, say what you need to say. Like this is the, this is the place to do it because this is about where we start to build a collective way of moving Things they were sharing like a process to how do these leaders engage together, how do we really work with a map and identify what would work, what wouldn't work. The goal is to have a shared strategy as a community of what does healing look like. Um, how do we best provide healing to those who have experienced trauma? How do, what is our North Star and how do we all start rowing in the same direction towards that? Um, and we're just really rooted in this idea that you have to listen first and build second. And so we've been doing interviews, we've been doing workshops. Uh, any and all mediums to gather input and data and that is what has built this map and then the community leaders have now used this map to say here's what we're going to focus on. Keeping the symptoms down and have yeah. access to treatment. I was traumatized in the past as a child. I grew up, I made mistakes, now I'm, I'm trying to correct those mistakes and since I got a second chance I'm trying to reach out to people before they even had to go through heaven to get a second chance. So our whole idea was um, we get all galvanized and we get all happy about, you know, we're, we're sick and tired of things being the way they are. But then when we come to the, the, the so what, what part as far as us actually deciding the formalities of it, we get stuck in the mood. So our thinking is the way we need to shift the paradigm is not use the traditional leaders or the traditional models that we've used in the past, but kind of flip the resource and use the emerging voices and the leaders that we have. So if we use these um, e emerging leaders like Deco, mm -hmm. ah, I love it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because they've gone through it, mm -hmm. yes. have them at the head of the screen, mm -hmm. have them do the engagement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then we switch our roles, we're no longer in the public, we're behind supporting them. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is going to be a, a difficult part, but but the reality is, then when the when the crisis happens and that engagement is not me, it's Deco, mm -hmm. who's actually been through the stuff that they've been through, mm -hmm. it's going to automatically build hope and belief mm -hmm. because he he went through the system and the system failed. Mm -hmm. So why keep doing the same thing over and over again if it's not working? Let the people that actually have the experience and the standing to be able to engage them to make the change. We've been here before, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but the more I've engaged and the more opportunities I've had, to, I'm, I feel more promised now than I've ever felt in my 20 years of ministry on any level, and that's saying a lot.